Okay, I'm seeing there's a problem with the uh, <clears throat> the image hosting websites. Um, they're saving my bitmaps, which I had up here, as uh, as PNGs, which isn't a problem for the flags. Uh, the flags are okay, uh, but the patrol stars, because part of the image is supposed to be transparent already, as you can see, I'm just going to paste in the link uh, that you can find in the description for this video, right here. The patrol, sp uh, patrol star is picking up black where it should be transparent. We're gonna we're gonna fix that. So just paste in this link to a web browser. What you want to do is save the image. You can just save it to the desktop. And we're gonna get rid of the black, make the black transparent, and we're gonna shrink it down to a small size that you can use in your in your texture. So close that there. Find the file you just downloaded, and open it in GIMP. And we want to get rid of all the black. So to do that, we're going to select by color. You can go to select by color right here, or use this tool over here. And we want to select all of the yellow. Um, to do that, we're going to set the threshold up at about 100. Doesn't have to be great. 110 is fine. And then select anywhere in the yellow, like that. And now you can see that the yellow has the the shimmery line over it like that, showing that it's, it's selected. Um, now we just hit Control C to copy it, and we're going to open and uh, create a new image. Go to New, and we want this to be the same size as the big one for now, 525 by 500. And that should all be in if you're creating a new one from this image. And we want to fill the background color with transparency, like that. Hit OK. Here's our new image. We don't need that for right now. And you should have the the big star, the yellow portion, already in your clipboard, so just hit Control v and that should paste it in like that. And once again, make sure you have a, a selection tool like that selected with the anchor icon. Anchor it in. And then we want to merge the layers just to make sure that everything's okay there. So image, merge, layers. Expand it as necessary, that's fine. Go to merge. There, that's saved. And that's okay for the big one, but it's way too big for our texture. It's actually bigger than, than the kill flag texture that we're going to be using. So we want to resize it. Uh, you can save it right now if you want. You can go to File, Save, just so you can have a big, blank, transparent star that you can resize later if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and size this down to what it needs to be. So to do that, we go to Image and Scale Image right here. And this brings up this dialog. The size we want is 12 by 11. And uh, to get that, make sure that you've got pixels selected in this little box right here. We want pixels. And this little chain right here is linked right now to show you that it's it's going to stay the same size. It'll it'll link those two sizes together so that one will scale with the other. You can see that you change this one, this one changes too. We don't want that. Uh, so we want to, well, yeah, we want to break that. Put in 12 here and 11 here. This is exactly the same size as the one that I used in the other video. Once you have that, make sure you click here. It should read 12 by 11 right down here. That's kind of the preview. And then hit the scale, and boom, you got a really small star. That's good enough for us. So let's go to File, Save As, and we're just going to save it to the desktop. That's fine. We want to save it as, you can save it as a PNG, you can save it as a bitmap. That's fine. Either one is fine. I'm going to save it as a bitmap. And we're going to title it Patrol Star New. Replace these spaces with underscores. No particular reason, that's just something I do. You can name it whatever. Dot BMP. Just make sure BMP is selected. And hit Save. You don't want any sort of encoding or advanced options, nothing like that. You're fine. Just hit Save. And we got a new image right down here, it just popped up. Open it in GIMP, and then you can see we have a small star with the transparency on it. That's all you do. And now you can use that as a patrol star in your texture. Or you can resize the big one to whatever size you want to use. I'd recommend it being pretty small. And that's it.